October 3rd, we were a convoy across uh, Baghdad, and we actually uh, struck an IED, or IED struck our convoy. So shrapnel from that particular IED went into my upper right shoulder, uh, destroying my deltoid muscle. Uh, it took almost a year before I was able to actually get back into the routine of starting to do normal things. Um, well, I don't do push-ups the same anymore like I used to. Psychologically, it, it really impacted me, especially with driving. Um, tend to go back to those Iraq days when you're driving and you're constantly looking out and looking on the side of the road to make sure there's nothing there. Um, different sounds when you're driving, somebody honks the horn or sudden, certain uh, uh, abrupt sounds might cause me to be a little bit jumpy. So in the beginning, for maybe the first couple of months, maybe four or five months after I got out, that's when it really impacted me as far as um, uh, going back to those days and, and, and thinking about driving on that road and what happened that day. There are people and organizations that are out there to, to help wounded soldiers. Uh, especially now, we've been going on this war for 10 years now. Uh, there are a lot of different organizations out there, you know, helping soldiers, and I think that's a great thing. Uh, whereas I believe maybe years ago, soldiers didn't have the type of uh, treatment facilities uh, and or organizations that help wounded soldiers, so I think that's a great thing.